Hi everyone. So today we're going to be answering a few questions on the atomic structure. Okay. So the first question reads, the atomic number of a given element is, the atomic number of a given element is, A, the mass of the element, B, number of protons, C, the number of protons plus neutrons, D, the number of neutrons, E, the number of electrons, F, I do not know. So the correct answer in this question is uh, the atomic number of a given element is a number of protons. So for instance, if, if sodium is your element, <coughs> uh, let's put this as your X, this is your Y. So this x at the bottom is what we call the atomic number okay and uh, the number at the top is what we call the mass number okay so the an ato the atomic number of a given element is uh, refers to the number of proteins of that particular element number two isotopes are atoms that have the same but different dash so a atomic masses and charges b mass numbers atomic numbers c atomic numbers different mass numbers d charges atomic masses e mass numbers and charges okay so when you uh, look at an isotope okay this isotope for instance uh um let's uh for instance carbon right so your carbon atom has different isotopes for instance this carbon six let's take for instance this is 14 maybe 16 and so forth so what happens is that for an isotope they're going to have the same anatomic number which is a proton number but they'll have different mass numbers by virtue of them having different number of neutrons in that particular nucleus that's what causes them to have different uh, uh, mass number the air uh, three the element which has mass number 12 and atomic number six is so for this one you definitely have to know your periodic table at least the first seven elements okay so the most common is actually carbon because it has the mass uh, the atomic number of six and mass number of 12. okay question four the region of an atom which can be filled with one or two electrons is known as one a nucleus b a shell c a neutron d an atomic orbital e a proton okay so here the correct answer is actually an orbital for instance if this is your element you have your nucleus surrounding the nucleus are what we call shells or energy levels rather so you have electrons that surround and um, what you notice is that these electrons they do um, revolve around here but they have a specific area which we call an orbital okay in this orbital that's why you find those specific electrons found uh, in that particular uh, orbital well to access the full video click the link uh, below